Hey gang, it's been a while since we've touched base, so I thought I would just get connected with you and open up a package from our friends at Lock and Load Publishing. Let's see if the good news has continued and they are producing things of apt quality. Still, <clears throat> let's see what we got in here. Lots of packing materials. Okay, so this is the... Uh, Wow, these boxes are actually really hot from the being in the postman's truck. You know how they say that the movie in the movie it says the postman rings twice, here the postman honks twice. If I don't come down by the second honk, and he just drops it at my door. But he is a nice guy. We're dropping things off at my door versus somewhere else. All right, so tanks in, tank on tank, west front and east front. I believe, you know, I don't even know which one was the original. Maybe it'll say on the back here. Second edition of Pete Bogusarian's hit game, Tank on Tanks. So maybe this is the first one. Uh, yeah, okay, and the second one. So what do you want to look at first? Let's look at the first, let's look at the first one first, right? So it's, uh, Well, these boxes are literally on fire from the heat. That's the uh, slimline box, which I think for this game is very smart. An uh, interesting story about the original box for this was much deeper and bigger, and it was purely because it was a manufacturing mistake on behalf um, on part of Lock and Load from back in the day. So they just had to kind of deal with it. And the boxes were printed the wrong way around. One game was supposed to get a deep box, the other one got a thin box and uh, they got mixed up and back in those days I don't think there was enough money to fix things like that. So let's have a look at this first. Here we go. Beautiful artwork on the cover. That's a nice top-down shot. Uh, you've got your two dice. They roll, seem to work just fine. <laughs> game manual. Rules in the entire 10 pages. If you play this game before, you know that this is a super simple, straightforward, action point oriented game. You point, you shoot, you move your dudes, and uh, you go for it. It's got uh, 12, 13, 14 scenarios. A little advertising for East Front there. Uh, a little breakdown on uh, the units in the back, uh, defining the units as well with their range and defensive values and things like that. Movement combat personnel units are in this as well. Trucks, airstrikes, very much the same. Now, there is a new section of the rules, I think. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah, 11 has the uh, designing your own engagements is pretty cool. It gives you a set of rules to go by, uh, work out how to uh, build your own scenarios, which is kind of neat. Let's have a look at the charts. You've got uh, this little guy here. Can you see that okay? I've got you to one side, so... After units, etc. Then you've got double sided printed maps, winter rules, summer rules, maps. Same for this guy. These are nice big hex deals, and then the units are pretty freaking huge. Look at those bad boys. Let's just pop a king tiger out. They come out really nicely. Pop that down on the hex. Now let me give you a standard sized unit. This is a GMT or MMP sized unit to give you a sense of scale. Whoops, sorry dudes. Dudettes. There you go. So that's pretty that's pretty awesome. These are big counters. This game is awesome as an introductory war game at the tactical level. And let me just see, and you know what? The opposing forces actually get to face off against each other. Look at that. I think in the last version that was not the case. <clears throat> I like the simple, clear silhouettes too. Uh, it might have been nice to have the big, you know, the, the, the big artwork with the really detailed uh, tank on here, but there's something 
pleasing and uh, non-distracting about having just a, a white silhouette versus a black silhouette and then the, the clarity of the big numbers. So for all the older guys, you're going to love these because they're nice and thick. They are big font, clear colors, big hexes, etc., etc. Looks pretty snazzy. I am in the middle of some other games. I'm not going to get to play this right at this moment. One bag, one big baggie to put all your units in. I'll put these two guys in here. And let's have a look at the east front, which will have similar rules. Pop that in there. Map on top. And let's see what it's got to say for itself. So 13 or 14, did I say 14 scenarios there? Let's put the dice back in. So I gotta I gotta get to this game. I've never actually reviewed 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 uh, Tank on Tank. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. So I probably should do that at some point. I've only played it once or twice, but I've enjoyed it when I've played it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, once again, play a red card, turn track, got your little facing diagram there, combat modifiers, terrain charge, you can't see anything that would help. Flip side has the uh, point values for units when you're building scenarios. That's what the chart, the other, the other chart was that I showed you before. This has one, two, three, four, five maps. Are you kidding me? Six maps? What? What? With both uh, summer and winter on them. Let me see if I can zoom this out a little bit. No. Let me just check this out. Is this a mistake? Huh. Map C. You know what? No, no. That says map C there too. Well, this is interesting. Map C. Map C. Oh, well, these are bigger maps. There you go. So these go together to make one large map. And you flip them over to play the summer summer rules, is what I'm guessing. So that's one map. This is another map here. Let me see labeling D, yes. So it's three maps, but three large maps, both summer and winter. Your units, let's see what have we got here. We've got KVs, we've got T34s, of course. They're all oh and T34 85s with the 85 millimeter gun, is that right? I really should know that. AT guns. And then we must have a whole other sheet for the Germans, indeed we do. And Italians or Romanians and Romanians. Very nice. You've got Pumas, Panzers, and Panzer Fours, one, two, three Tiger, four Tiger units, and some Panthers. Very, very nice. I don't know if you can see all those. I know I'm going through this kind of quick, but I, you don't need to be bored to death. Have a look at this. You've probably all seen it before. There are 12, 13, 14 scenarios in this guy. Uh, and, you know, interesting thing would be to see if there are any movement changes for terrain based on weather. I wonder if that is in here somewhere. I'm just trying to quickly skip through the rules to see if I can see that. No, I cannot see that quickly. Hello? Don't know. It may well be that there are no, given it's snow, right? That there are no penalties for movement in the snow. Hmm. Just a more thematic, more thematic than it is uh, terrain specific. I can see that. Okay. All right. Very cool. I'm not going to punch counters out of that guy. You uh, saw them previously. Beautiful, beautiful production. Great. Now, let me. You know, I didn't really look super close at the at the offset. Let's just check. Okay. Let's see if these guys are all centered and all the rest of it, so that uh, we can say that we're back on track. And these guys all look great, actually. Evenly spaced all along. Nothing's crooked. Yeah, these are really well done. Really well done. Very cool. Thank you, Lock and Load, for getting your shit together finally. I know it's taken probably a year longer than you wanted to, but God bless you. I wish you great success. And I would encourage everyone 
If you're not into tactical, have a look at Dawn's Early Lights. If you're not into World War Three, have a look at Romola Kazala. If you're not into that, have a look at Totten Sontag. Lots of choices from them. Lots of games back in print. Do yourself a favor. Check them out. You can, by the looks of it, based on the one, two, three, four, five games I've now seen from them. Uh, plus, I've also seen some of the... Uh, 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 What's it called? Not World at War. Nations at War expansions are uh, uh, the Alpha and Bravo packs. They're all perfect as well. Uh, I can tell you that I have not seen any real errors with these, and the stuff keeps getting better and better, not worse. So I'm really, really happy and impressed, and I'd be I, I can now take away my reservations uh, of recommending them. Of course, I am still like everybody else waiting for that Heroes of the Pacific, and then all sins will be forgiven. Love this artwork. Look at that bad boy. Later, guys.